but look at the pace that Lisa Brenner is developing. This is absolutely spectacular. Kirsten Bild only has to follow that wheel. It's Chloe Hoskin in third place, and the Volca rider, in this case, uh, Sanguinetti, is trying to bring back Elisa Balsamo to the front, right through the middle. It's Lorena Vives, the Dutch national champion. Lorena Vives coming to the line. She is so incredibly strong. She is the next best thing. But oh, and a big crash happening there. Is it Voss? Is it going to be Vives? Or is it going to be Rivera on the inside of the corner? It's going to be. I don't know. Is it Bild? Is it Rivera? Is it going to be. Vivas built or Rivera, I, I can't tell you, but what a horrible, horrible crash happening behind the first, what, 15, 20 riders. Yeah, so the crash happening on the right of the screen there and just spreading across the road, across the peloton, which are oh, absolutely awful to see for those riders there that were caught out there, but very, very tight sprint at the end there between uh, Lorena Veebs, Kirsten Vild, and Karim Rivera. It's incredibly, incredibly hard to call. They were spread out across the road from left to right, all with their separate lead out And we're just going to see a replay now. So there is Lorena Veebs in the center, or sort of on the right of the shot, in the red, which is the Dutch National Champions jersey. And you see it's the Alex Cipollini rider that comes down, just a couple of riders back, and takes down a lot of two oh, Jots riders down, oh then go down there with her. And Mayana Voss through the middle in the orange, also sprinting there. Lotte Kopecki, Corin Rivera being incredibly aero there. Marta Bastianelli not bothering with the sprint here. And is it Rivera? Is it... It might be built on the inside of the course, but still, I will have to see an overhead shot to, uh, to determine that. Oh, we've got an overhead shot. Well, thank you for that. Spectacular lead out there by Lisa Brenau. Her pace was so incredibly high, but look at Lorena Vivas developing that speed there. Look at what she's doing there. Absolutely thrilling. Letizia Paternoster is the rider of Trek Segafredo. Also there, Elisa Balsamo. Kirsten, oh, it's Chloe Hoskin going down first. Kirsten Bill trying to get there on the inside of the road. Very early sprint by Lorena Vivas, all the way at the outside on the right side of your screen, but it is Kirsten Bild. Kirsten Bild winning her third Prudential Right London Classic. What an absolute thrilling finish to this race. So she had a really strong lead out there from Lisa Brenner, but it was ever, ever so slightly too early. Then Lorena Veebs came up the middle of the peloton, the middle of the road, and Kirsten Bill just went back ever so slightly in that bunch and then unleashed her sprint quite late. And you think it's going to go to Lorena Veebs, but she just eases past her, sat down on the line there. So much power for Kirsten Bild. And this is so typical of the situation now in, in, sprint, in sprinting, in women's cycling. Kirsten Bild is still the queen of sprints, but the competition comes from her own country. Lorena Vives is coming ever closer, but just like Gent Weverum, just like the Ponner, it's Kirsten Wilt first, Lorena Vives second. Yeah, and Lorena Vives taking on that sprint in the, you know, early, you know, not waiting for everyone else to sprint to follow the wheels. She was ready to go herself, initiate it herself, not scared of reputations. Brilliant sprint there. This is uh, our first, uh, of course, unofficial result with uh, Kirsten Wild winning her third Prudential Right London Classic, beating Lorena Vives, Elisa Balsamo, Corin Rivera, Lotte Kopecki, Letizia Paternos, Mariana Vos, Christine Majurus, Marta Tagliaferro, and in 10th place, Maria Giulia Convalonieri. A lot of Italians there in the top 10, no less than, uh, than four, but uh, Kirsten Wild tops the ranking for the third time in her career.